from the different places she was raised to her real thoughts on Marvel's secrecy. Here's everything fans didn't know about Zoe Saldana. She's Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy and Atiri in Avatar. And we may think we know who Zoe Saldana is, thanks to her epic roles in some of the biggest movies of all time. But so many fans don't know the real Saldana. Her life story is more than a little interesting and definitely worth talking about. Did you know that Saldana was born in New Jersey but raised in Queens and the Dominican Republic? Her childhood was split between these two places, and throughout these pivotal moments of her childhood, she also developed her love for performing and the arts. While we may all love Saldana as one of the freshest actresses of our generation, Saldana didn't want to be an actress when she was younger. Instead, she had her sights set on being a dancer. She danced throughout much of her youth and was trained in different methods, although it appears she wanted to be a ballerina more than anything else. According to Saldana, her dream was never realized, because when she got to a certain age, she knew she didn't have the feet to be a really great ballerina. But that didn't mean Saldana wanted to stop performing, and it was this realization that she wouldn't be a dancer. That eventually fueled her to look elsewhere in the performing arts world. After all, what fun is it to only be a backup dancer when you can be a star? Luckily for Saldana, she was able to use her background in dancing and fuel it into her new career as an actress, and this led to her first movie role. She starred in the 1991 film Center Stage as none other than a ballerina. After this first step into the film world, Saldana continued slowly making a name for herself throughout the 2000s, starring in some of the many movies we all know and love, and even beginning her ascent into some of the biggest franchises of all time. It was during her rise to the top that she eventually met her husband. Most fans don't realize that Saldana is married, because her husband isn't as famous an actor as she is. Interestingly though, their love story isn't boring at all. Saldana first met Marco Perigo, a talented Italian artist, back in 2013, and they started dating right away. According to Saldana, they both met on a flight. They didn't know each other at all, but caught eyes, and the rest is history. Now, Saldana did know about Marco's work and even considered herself a fan. But neither of them truly knew the other, and they didn't have any friends to connect over. All they had was a glance on a flight, which Saldana says was love at first sight, something she never believed in before. Within a few months after their meeting, they were married. Yep, that's right, fully married. Even more interesting, Saldana's husband took her last name even though she tried to talk him out of it. She thought it would lead to other men making fun of him, but her husband simply didn't care. He wanted to do it. Because of this, her children also share her surname and her husband's surname. So the kids all use the surname Perigo Saldana. Saldana and her husband have three boys in total, welcoming twins in 2014 and a third son in 2016. Many fans don't realize that Saldana has three children, Possibly because even though she's one of the most famous actresses of our time, she's also quite low-key, and only her biggest fans know she's got a whole family. No, no, it's just so easy. Parenting is just so easy. <laughs> and I'm done sulking. <laughs> and now I finally see what he means. While meeting her husband, falling in love, and having three children, Saldana also squeezed in the time to star in three of the most successful movies of all time. She's one of those actors that we all feel we've seen somewhere, even if we don't really know where. She starred in a ton of amazing movies, from some of the biggest franchises around, including Avatar, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. That's no small feat. This doesn't even include the latest Avatar movie or the third installment that will come out soon. You're in these giant movies, the biggest yeah. movies, I mean, between Marvel Cinematic Universe and, and Avatar. Uh, I mean, Avatar is the biggest movie ever made. Yes, biggest yes. Yeah, and, and Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, wh what does it feel like to be in the biggest movie? I'm pinching myself. Once those huge movies end their theatrical runs, Zoe could end up starring in more than three of the most successful movies of all time. After all, people love their Avatar films. As a result of starring in some of the biggest movies made in the past few decades, She's rolling in dough, with a net worth of $40 million. Not too shabby. 
but honestly, I was expecting a bigger number. This is the woman that starred in more than a few Marvel movies, Avatar, and even Star Trek. She was paid $4 million for her role in Avatar. And now that she's a huge star, I've got a feeling that her net worth will only rise, thanks to her roles in the next two Avatar movies. Plus, she's not done with Marvel yet. So, Zoe may have a smaller net worth than some of the other big actresses like Jennifer Lawrence's $160 million net worth. But that doesn't mean Zoe's not still a big star in the grand scheme of things. I mean, she's one of the highest grossing actresses of all time. To be exact, Zoe's the second highest grossing actress of all time. The number one spot goes to Scarlett Johansson. The movies Scarlett has starred in have collectively grossed about $14.29 billion. By comparison, Saldana's movies have all grossed about $11.22 billion. Not bad at all. Also, keep in mind that the total figures for the Avatar sequels aren't in yet. So, I've got a feeling that Saldana will take the number one spot in the next few years. And don't forget all the other Marvel movies she'll likely star in, particularly the latest installment in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. Because Zoe's a staple in so many gigantic franchises, it's hard to imagine her not taking that top spot away from Johansson. Speaking of Marvel and the many Marvel movies Saldana starred in, did you know that she has a hate-love relationship with her role in the Marvel Universe? While Zoe's spoken out about how happy she's been acting in Marvel franchises, she's also made it known how lost and uninspired she's felt in these roles. When speaking about her time working with Marvel, she's expressed her frustration with how secretive the whole thing is. We all know how Marvel loves to keep spoilers from coming out, right? Zoe certainly isn't the first actor to have an issue with how Marvel runs a tight ship, and she won't be the last. Zoe says she likes to do a deep dive into her characters and really study her lines as she prepares herself for what will be shot for the day. Laura is this stealth assassin. She's relentless. She's lethal. She's rough. <laughs> Marvel, however, is known for not giving actors full scripts and sometimes won't even give them scripts until the day of filming. It's no wonder Zoe's grown frustrated with the whole process. But considering she's been in a lot of Marvel movies, and will probably be in even more in the next few years, fans will be surprised to learn that even though she grows annoyed with it all, she does love her role. For being one of the biggest and highest grossing actresses in the world, Zoe remains a humble celebrity, and her private nature leaves fans with quite a bit they don't know about her yet. So there you have it. From how she really feels about Marvel and its secretive ways, to her real thoughts on Marvel's secrecy, that was everything fans didn't know about Zoe Saldana.